Okay, we are back for Showdown, and we have got a huge show about to go down. And really, um, I should have split this up into two shows, because we've got two big feuds ending. It's a Saturday night, but we like all our shows to be ac as action-packed as they can. We like to get feuds moving uh, quickly. Uh, we don't like to rush them, of course. But uh, I think it's good. Uh, it keeps the fans on their toes. And for two matches tonight, uh, for feud enders, we've got, first of all, Chris Canyon is going to beat Rey Mysterio for the US title in a ladder match. And it's going to be, for finishing, uh, move is going to be, or it's going to finish with a sick bump. I've not done one of them before, so let's see. Um what it says in the commentary. Let's hope Ray doesn't get injured. But following that match, Goldberg's going to come out and say that Ray is nothing, that he's um, he doesn't deserve to be US champ, and he's going to challenge into a fight on Monday Nitro. So we're going to get Goldberg and Ray Mysterio, if he's not injured, on Monday Nitro. See how that goes down. Main event, Falls Counts Anywhere. Sting is going to beat Sid Vicious to finally put that feud to bed. Sid Vicious has uh, got the better of Sting for much of this feud, so this is Sting's chance for revenge, and he's going to grab it with both hands. Um, we're going to start for show with a triple threat a tag match. The Dark Side are going to win over the Young Dragons and also Courageous and Noble. This is an interview with Totally Buff. Apparently, that match that they had with, um, was it Filthy Animals 2001? Uh, when the aim was to turn them, it didn't. I don't know why. But anyway, this interview has got a sole purpose. Uh, they are going to call out for tag champs Chuck Palumbo and Sean O'Hare. Sorry, Chuck Palumbo and Sean Stacey out for a perfect event. And this interview is going to turn them into a face team so we're going to get uh, the perfect event against totally buff on nitro for the tag titles as well this is a really random weird match uh, with the aim of getting ddp back over don't know how don harris is going to do that but ddp is going to beat him convincingly uh, i think don harris is leaving at the end of the month and i like the harris boys as a team but you know the they're, they're on the downward spiral now Stable angle, it's just for Rat Pack hanging out backstage before two of them, the Boogie Knights, are going to go in in a handicap match against Dusty Rhodes. Now, um, on Thunder, the Rat Pack uh, attack Dusty Rhodes backstage, so this is the aftermath to that. Uh, Dusty Rhodes is going to win cleanly, so then Shane Douglas is going to come and beat Dusty Rhodes up after the match. Uh, interview with Lance Storm, who's currently feuding with the Cat. Uh, Dustin Rhodes has finally got his match against Sean O'Hare. Let's see how that goes down. Interview with Lash LaRoe. His last one went very well, so it's time for him to get another one. So I'm really excited for this show. I think it's going to be fantastic. I don't expect high ratings for the tag match or DDP and Don Harris. Uh, and Dusty Rhodes, I think the fans might be up for that. But I think everything else will get really good ratings especially for t uh, the ladder match here i'm excited for that one not a bad start three-way match between three tag teams that no one cares about uh and dark side they even had the audacity to say they wouldn't lose the match to either of the other two teams which was a bit naughty but i think ms ice move is leaving at the end of the month and i don't know whether to renew his contract is it worth it i'm not sure 79%, okay. They are faces. Both, everyone's gained overness, so that has been a very successful segment. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, brilliant. DDP and Don Harris, to be honest, probably did better than I thought. Um, let's see. Sloppy Tornado Punch from DDP. But probably not. Don Harris is in trouble. Diamond Cutter, one, two, three. There we go. Disco gained the overness from this. For Rat Pack, they are going to have to feature in a lot of shows from now on. I'm liking where we're going with the Rat Pack. They've not featured enough. And um, yeah, I like what's going on here. 
Dusty Roads and for Boogie Nights. Uh, yeah, that, that actually did pretty well for what it was. Let's see what the end is. Dusty Roads moves. Douglas at... Hang on. Where's the free count? Oh, Douglas accidentally blasts Inferno with a chair to the head. Dusty throws Douglas out of the ring. Dusty, one, two, three. Fans love it. It's not often he gets a win these days. Lance Storm, well, best segment of the night. That went very well. Okay. Dustin Rhodes, Sean O'Hare. I knew that would do well. And you know what? This is a potential feud. Dustin Rhodes likes it. It could build his confidence back up after his main event feud. He's an upper mid-carder. And it'll do Sean O'Hare a lot of good as a singles competitor. So that is an option. Last in a row, very well. Um, very pleased with that. Okay, Rey Mysterio was sluggish. Canyon gained overness. So did Rey Mysterio. WCW US title has gained an image. I thought it would have got a little bit better, but let's have a read. Okay. Chris Canyon fights out of a grapple. Gut buster. Rey Mysterio hits hard. Chris Canyon brings out a jumping powerbomb to nearly kill Rey Jr. That was incredibly brutal. I love that move. They both begin to climb a ladder. Even though he nearly kills Ray, Ray can climb it. Okay. Um, once they reach the top, an exchange of punches starts. Canyon grabs Ray Jr. and throws him off into the ropes. His leg gets caught, trapping him. Canyon grabs the prize to win. Canyon climbs each turnbuckle in turn, working for crowd as he celebrates his victory. That's worthy of a main event. Maybe it should have been over Sid and Sting, but oh well. But here we go. Ray's still in the ring. You know, struggling. Goldberg comes out and challenges him. Rey Mysterio, though, doesn't back down from a challenge. And the main event, Sid Vicious gained overness from this feud ending. Uh, so that's done him good. That was the aim of this feud. And overall, we only got 72%. But never mind. Um, obviously, I knew that would do the worst out of them all. DDP, Don Harris. I mean, what a rubbish match that would have been. Anyway, let's have a look at these. Does Jeff Jarrett want to work with Shane Helms again? Okay. Dustin Rhodes and Sean O'Hare work well together. Any news before Monday? 1.98 buy rate for King of Ring. That is pretty good. 0.5 showdown. Yeah, a bit less actually than last week. Okay, unhappy workers. Okay, Ray's gone up to 27. That's good. Goldberg's at 12. He stayed the same. Writing staff, have you got anything? Lex and Buff, they can have gimmick changes. That's fine. Uh, Sting is our number one baby face. That's good. Um, Scott Stein is our number one heel. Let's have a quick look at these feuds. Lance Storm and Cat. Jarrett and Leroux. Okay, we know we're getting Jarrett and Leroux at the next uh, Monday Nitro. So we've got Jarrett, Leroux, Goldberg, Mysterio. Um, we've got a cracking show lined up. The Rat Pack are going to feature at some point. Um, and then we can get cracking on what is going to happen at Bash at the Beach, which is my favourite time to um, decide who is going to feud with who. Chris Candido is still the um, Cruiserweight champion, and he's been champion for a while now. Conan's the hardcore champion. Goldberg's, well, he had his shot, didn't he? Uh, tag titles, perfect event. TV title, The Cat. US title, Chris Canyon. And the world champion since the 31st of May, Scott Steiner. So, there we go. I'll join you all for Monday Nitro next time. And I'm sure it's going to be an absolute belter.